hello guys don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell right there so that you can get notifications every time i upload a video okay enjoy what is up guys this is your boy andy matrix i talk about anime manga video games geek culture and japanese culture so i found this really cool thing and this really cool thing it's Apparently, a Japanese startup designed a headset similar to Sword Art Online's Nerve Gear, right? So I am at road, roadtovr.com, right? It says, Half Dive VR headset takes design cues from Sword Art Online Kickstarter in December. This is a Japanese, a Japanese startup. They have a Kickstarter. So it says, Diver X, that's the name of the device. It's looking to launch a Steam VR compatible headset that seems to be talked that seems to be taking a few ideas from popular anime Sword Art Online, which prominently features a fully immersed metaverse. I said, while it's not a brain computer inter interface like the like the full dive nerve gear feature in the show, the heavyweight hardware heavyweight hardware represents presents a pretty interesting approach to VR headset design. Wow, and actually, if you take a look at it, right, if you take a look at it right here, it's like you basically can lay down, you know, put basically lay down and put your head here. It covers your face, right? And I'm not the biggest fan of, the biggest fan of VR, virtual reality. You know, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm a little afraid of it because of, I'm afraid of what it does to, you know, to your health. Uh, I do think it's kind of cool that they're actually making it and basing it, making it similar to to Sword Art Online. And if you look at this picture here, we see this guy's this is guy laying down on a bed with the with the headset, you know, with the uh, the Diver X they call it. It says called Half Life, called Half Dive, excuse me. The Tokyo base uh, company says it's taking it's taking advantage of the sleeping positions to enable human activity in its lowest energetic state. So it's not completely, it's not completely like, um, like the Nerf gear from Sword Art Online, but it's, it's getting there. They're designing it similarly, right? It says, since it's worn laying, since it's worn laying down, the creators say they're, they're freed from many of the design's constraints that, that conventional VR headset makers are used to pursuing with the introduction of things like pancake optics. What? Pancake optics and micro displays. Since the weight isn't on your neck, it doesn't have to be light or slim. So just just like in, just like in Sword Art Online, you, you basically just lay down and play. So I wonder, do you control your avatar, your characters? Do you control your game with your brain, like the waves of your brain? That's what I want to know because it seems to be it seems to be working with like with like the uh, I guess like your brain waves or like your the ele what do you call it? Uh, the electric the electric cues of your of your brain the electric waves of your brain right so, so it says have that is perched on a base that allows you that allows it to include things like 10 spherical lengths stacked on reported 134 degrees field of view it says and what diver x calls a significantly improved image quality out of its 1600 times 1440 pixel per eye dual display Says after all, half die is meant to be a mostly stationary experience, so users aren't really aren't meant to physically move outside of turning their heads left and right. Something, something the company calls 4.4.5 DOF degrees of freedom. Wait, wait, hold on a second. So users really aren't meant to physically move outside of turning their heads. Well, at least you can move your head. <laughs> it's not, it's not exactly like you know. I mean, you are laying down. You know, you're not gonna be sleeping. You're just laying down to play to you know to use the uh, the nerve gear or this you know this headset. So the company says supporting the avatar movement simul simulation simulation mentioned above. In addition to Steam VR based on station tracking, which may use for its yet to be revealed controller. We've e it says we're eager to see just how that's supposed to work when Half Dive gets closer to its Kickstarter Kickstarter launch. Which is coming December 6, 2021. So right now it is November 27th, the time I make this video. So basically in about in about a week or two. Wow, so 
says avatar movement simulation movement above in addition to the to this to the steam vr based track, traction may be used for its reveal controller so it doesn't have a, it's, it is there doesn't seem to be any controller just a headset right now right so the question is how are you going to control the vr so it looks like you're gonna have like tools in your in your feet right you're gonna have tools in your feet and probably tools in your hand it says a hand controller hasn't been completely revealed yet either although a blurred image uh, released in the late September suggests it will be something akin to Valve's Steam Steam VR controllers, aka Knuckles. So, like a pair of Knuckles. Wow. Wow. So this concept is pretty interesting and pretty scary. You know. So we're getting pretty close to that Ready Player One future with Mark Zuckerberg's Meta Burst, <laughs> and uh, now Sword Art Online. You know the Nerve Nerve Gear headset. We're getting closer. And I say within a couple of decades, you know, Elon Musk is going to create a headset where you can control your avatar strictly with your, you know, psychic, with your psychic powers, like with your brain's psychic ability. <laughs> right. So if you ever dreamed of play of being inside a, you know, a virtual reality game, massive MMO, like Sword Art Online, don't worry. Just give it a couple of years and we're, you know, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Just pray. Just pray that Mark Zuckerberg and the people that are creating these, you know, this technology, they don't trap us inside the virtual reality, unable to wake up. <laughs> oh, man. But anyways, this is Andy Matrix. Subscribe to the channel. And, uh... Like, like this video, comment below, and Godspeed. See you later, guys. What is up, everybody? Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can receive new future notifications. Check out the blog at andyrtv.com. Follow me on Twitter. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts or anything you want to say right below this video in the comments below. This is Andy Matrix. Thank you for watching. Godspeed, everybody. Godspeed.